Hello, thank you for joining us. This week we're going to be in Psalm 63. Psalm 63. Today I'm going to read the psalm and then we're going to start looking at verses 1 and 2 and then we're going to work our way through Psalm 63 this week. And it reads, O oh God, you are my God. Early will, I, early will I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh longs for you in a dry and thirsty land where no water is to see your power and your glory. So I have seen you in the sanctuary. Because your loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise you. Thus will I bless you while I live. I will lift up my hands in your name. My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise you with joyful lips. When I remember you upon my bed and meditate, meditate on you in the night watches, because you have been my help. Therefore, in the shadow of your wings will I rejoice. My soul follows hard after you. Your right hand upholds me. But those who seek my soul to destroy it shall go to the lower parts of the earth. They shall fall by the sword. They shall be a portion for the foxes. But the king shall rejoice in God. Everyone who swears by him shall glory. But the mouth of them who speaks lies, they shall be stopped. This is a Psalm of David is called the prayer of a thirsting soul. The, the thing about David is David was a worshiper. David was, David always longed for more of his God, always longed for more. He was always hungry and thirsty as the deer pants for the living water. So my soul longs for you. So David starts this psalm by saying, oh God, you are my God. That's where it starts. Who is going to be our God? The living God or something else or someone else. But David starts by saying, oh God, you are my God. Early, he said, no matter when I wake up, when I wake up, the first thing I'm going to do in the early morning, in the early will I seek you. I'm going to look for you. I'm going to long for you. My soul thirsts for you all throughout the day. It is, have you ever been thirsty? When you, and then you get that drink of water, it's like, oh, I needed that. Thirsting for the Lord is the same thing. We should thirst for him. And he goes, my, my flesh longs for you in a dry and thirsty land. We look around sometimes and our land does seem like it's dry and thirsty. And so we, as our flesh longs for something that satisfies, something that can get us something into a different place. And we want to see the power, the second verse says, to see your power and glory. So as I have seen in your sanctuary, it's when we've seen God work in God's majesty in our lives, in our community, in our church, it is then that we see God's power working. So today, it's, let's be seeking the Lord, making God our God, seeking him, thirsting for him, longing for him, hungering for our God, because he will fill us. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time.